we need to talk about scientific notation now because scientific notation is something that's going to be so useful to you in your science classes. Um, this is a perfect way to write numbers that are either very, very large or very, very small. Now, a scientific notation is a number between 1 and 10 times 10 raised to a power. So if you were to see something like this, 2.56 times 10 to the 12th power, this is beautiful scientific notation. Now we're going to have always times 10 to a power. So our choices for that are we could either have positive powers or we could have negative powers. So let's look at a positive power. If I had 10 to the third power, what would that mean? Doesn't that just mean 10 times 10 times 10? And 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. OK, the flip side of that would be 10 to the negative 3. Now remember, when we deal with a negative exponent, since we've just learned about those, then that negative exponent tells us that that is in the wrong position. So we can correct that negative exponent by saying 1 over 10 to the third power. And now 1 over 10 to the third power is truly 1 over 1,000. Now if you think about this, that means that 10 to the third is really a very large number. Anytime you multiply something times a thousand, it's a pretty good sized number. In this, uh, with the negative exponent though, we're actually dividing by a thousand. So when we see the negative exponent, that's a much smaller number. Let's keep that in mind as we go through these problems. It'll make it much, much easier on you. Okay. Here we're supposed to write this number in scientific notation. So remember our definition, it said it's some number between 1 and 10 times 10 to a power. Okay. Technically and naturally, the decimal point lies at the end of 78,000, just in its natural position. But I need to rewrite this number so that I have a number that's bigger than 1 but less than 10. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just magically place my decimal right there between the 7 and the 8? If I had 7.8, that would be a number between 1 and 10, larger than 1 but smaller than 10. We can do that by multiplying by a power of 10. And that power of 10 is going to depend on the number of decimal places that we moved. So in this case, we moved 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places to get that to 7.8. That's the power on the, um, the 10. Now the last thing that we need to ask ourselves is, is this a positive 4 or a negative 4? Think about our number, 78,000 we would have to multiply 7.8 by a big number in order to get to 78,000. That's what tells us that this is going to be a positive exponent. For the next problem here, we have this number, and we're going to change that into scientific notation again. So I need to have something times 10 to a power. Well, here again, we have to figure out where would we want our decimal point so that we had a number that was bigger than 1 but less than 10. How about if we put it right there between the 1 and the 6? So 1.67. Now, how many places would we have to move that decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. And because this is a much smaller number than 1.6, we would have to be dividing by a power of 10 or going smaller. So this would be our number in scientific notation.